What's going on, brothers? Mister, let me tell you the name. Got a video for you. As you're entitled, Seven Figure Part 27. Here goes. So, as you can see, from this past holiday, these trollops, these ditch pigs, these hoochies, really cannot stand being left to fend for themselves. They can't stand it. Because obviously, it's too expensive. The workload's too heavy for them. And this is exactly why this whole girl boss paradox is the joke that writes itself. It really is. It's the joke that writes itself. You see, they're stunning, brave, strong, independent, they don't need no man until they actually need a man. And I let you know that they have buyer's remorse. Reality gets the last word, and they can't stand it. They can't stand being left to fend for themselves. They can't stand a life where they're not being aggravating to men. So it goes like this. The cover story so far is that all these young men and men in general who are not chasing tail are lonely. And the truth is, men are just keeping to themselves. They're just enjoying lives without trial interference. But they gotta put a spin on this so they can save face. Because if a man who is prudent actually reads those articles, they'll be able to put two and two together and realize that these men are choosing to ride solo and go for broke because the trials here once civilization are insufferable. And then you got the trolls who keep running to TikTok to damsel and to spread their manure. <laughs> Man. It, the whole thing is, at this point, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, it's a guilty pleasure at this point. Nobody believes them. And each time they run the social media to lie their ass off or to save face or to engage in copium and 50 degree gaslighting more and more men just leave <laughs> and that's what's happening I mean apparently it's gotten so bad that you now have tr pastors going into these grocery stores these markets to Hunt down husbands for these hoochies. <laughs> Apparently it happened to me. It happened at Costco. <laughs> so, apparently, check this out. I was at Costco doing some shopping. And one of the pastors that lives... In my city, came and asked me if I, how I was doing. Then he asked if, I, if I've been married yet. I said no. And I haven't had time to really look for one, and right now I'm just working. And then he gave me his business card and asked, why don't I come to the church someday? <clears throat> why don't I come to the church at some point? Because there are plenty of women there looking for husbands. And the first thing that popped in my mind was, the incident that took place in that black mega church. You know what incident I'm talking about, brothers? The incident where the pastor asked the young men to stand up, and then he said, Brothers, I need you to man up and wipe up these lovely ladies. And the young men all walked out of that church and never went back. That's the first thing that came to my mind when it happened. <laughs> So these hoochies out here are strong and independent. They don't need no man. But they got they are sending pastors out here to hunt down husbands for them. <laughs> I know it's rough out here. I know it's rough out here. I mean, hey, you got tribes out here who would rather go to prison than to be homeless. You got tribes out here 
were trying to save face, tell themselves that they wanted gender war, but if they wanted gender war, why are they still complaining? Why are they complaining? They pushed for 55 years, years to supplant men and take their positions away from them. And you got quite a few of them that actually, actually earn more than men, but they're not happy. It's the reason why you got these 40 year old relics running into TikTok and saying, well, life without a man is actually horrible. I hate it. It's not, it's just not fun. <laughs> they can't make up their mind. One minute they're stunning and brave, they don't need no man, the next minute they need a husband. Or that 60 year old Hoochie on TikTok who was sitting there crying her eyes out saying, it's, life is hard without a man, I need a man, I need a husband. <laughs> they did to themselves. The whole thing was self inflicted. Those laws that hamstring men and boys, they weren't put in place by themselves. These Trumps pushed for that. And you got the feminists in these college, on these college campuses basically saying, where are all the men? They're not there. They're either in community college or trade school. So they figured that college fails to cost benefit analysis. Dating and marriage relationships feel the cost benefit analysis and their, their financial pitfalls and snares and traps. These traps set for them, basically set for these men. <laughs> and then you got a certain segment of trollops who are more concerned with titles. You know who they are. The ones who are more concerned with titles. Or you could be an electrical engineer. Make anywhere from 94 to 140k a year, and they'll say, "Ew, he's an electrical engineer." Or you can be a truck driver, make anywhere from 52 to 126k a year, and they'll get they'll turn their nose at that. And of course, you got the plumbers who we'll make it anywhere from 45k to 77k a year. They'll turn their nose at that. Or a blockchain developer. Was making 140k a year in my state, and then they'll still count him out. They'll overlook him because even though his bread is fat, he's too fucking short. <laughs> Enough young men see this shit. <laughs> they see this shit. And they're not playing the game anymore. They're leaving these trolls out to fend for themselves. And that's what you're seeing. And it's going to get worse, brothers. It's going to get worse. Thanksgiving was round one. Round two is Christmas. <laughs> Be ready for it, brothers. Keep your head on the swivel and stay safe. Stay vigilant these perilous times, man. <laughs> it's going to get rough. <laughs> Keep stacking your green. Keep kicking ass in your trades. And continue to enjoy your life. If you got faith, keep the law, statutes, commandments. Do that, brothers. <laughs> man, these hoochies, these trollops, man, they've really shit to bed. I'm telling you, they have shit to bed, Mr. Con. It's the thing. They have shit to bed, and Mr. Carpet. <laughs> That's all I got for you, brothers. It's Lionel McTow. If you like the video, like the best here in the comments here, feel free to subscribe. If you want to donate, this is my chain five tip jar on the upper right side of the screen. This is G Plus Icon. My cash ship is there too. Mm-hmm. Go your own way, live your own way. That's for these trollops, these bitch made simps, these bad faith actors. If those are probably say we say we say it, give them nothing. This is me tell PSC. Welcome to the state. See you soon.